Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will discuss about the topic how to compute closure and go to operation. We will discuss with an example. Consider the grammar A derives open bracket A close bracket or A. And for this grammar, we need to compute closure of I and go to of I. So for the given grammar, first we need to add the augmented grammar. So that is the first step in computing the canonical collection of LR of zero items. So if you are considering here, the augmented grammar for the given grammar is, the, in this grammar the start symbol is A. So we need to add A dash derives A. And the remaining grammar as it is we can write. That is A derives open bracket A close bracket or A. So this is the augmented grammar. Next, we need to compute the closure of I. So, to compute closure of I, we need to add a dot operation in the right hand side of the production rule. So, for the first production, that is A dash derives, add a dot in the RHS. So, after the dot, the non terminal A is there. So, we need to add the A productions. So, A productions are A derives. Add a dot in the or hs dot open bracket a close bracket and a derives dot a and this after this dot open bracket is there open bracket is a terminal symbol so after this dot and if a non terminal is there in the sense for the non terminal productions we have to add a dot production so we have added the non terminal a productions so this is closure of i and consider this closure of i as state i naught. Next, we need to compute the go to operation. Go to operation is nothing but we need to perform a move on the dot operation. So, first we need to perform go to operation for the first production. That is, after the dot, non terminal a is there. So, we have to perform i naught comma a. So, Go to of i naught comma a is a dash derives a dot. That is we are performing a move on the dot production. After the dot of a symbol is there in the sense move on the dot operation means after this a dot will be placed. That is nothing but the go to operation. So we need to check after the dot any other a production is there. So if you are checking these two are different, not with the a variable. So, i naught comma a is over. Next, we need to perform a move on this open bracket. That is, go to of i naught comma open bracket. A derives open bracket. That is, we are performing a move on this dot operation. That is, open bracket dot a and then close bracket. Now, if you are checking here, after the dot, a non-terminal A is there. Meaning is, we need to add the A productions. So, if after the dot, any non-terminal is there in the go-to operation means, we need to add the non-terminal productions also in closure of I. What is the non-terminal A productions here? That is, A derives dot open bracket, A close bracket and A derives dot A. So, we need to add A derives dot open bracket A close bracket and A derives dot A. So, now we have completed go to of I naught comma A and go to of I naught comma open bracket. Next, we need to perform the go to operation for A derives dot E. That is go to of I naught comma A. So, if you are considering the production, we have to add A derives a move on dot production so a dot so now we have completed the go to operation for the state i naught so the new states are this is state i1 i2 and this is state i3 so next we need to perform go to operation for the state i1 so if you are checking here a dash derives a dot so here there is no further move. So state I1 we have performed the go to operation. Next we have to check the state I2. So if you are checking for state I2, we have to perform the go to operation for I2, A, then I2, open bracket and I2, 
terminal E. So first we have to perform I2, A. A derives open bracket. Then we have to perform a move on this dot operation that is A dot and then close bracket. So after the dot only terminal symbol is there. So no need to add any productions. So now the status I4. Next, if we are considering, we have to perform a move on state I2 with the symbol open bracket. So, A derives open bracket dot A close bracket. Since after dot symbol, a non-terminal symbol is there, we have to add the A productions. A derives dot open bracket A close bracket and A derives dot terminal A. And now if we are considering this new state is similar to state I2. So this is nothing but I2 state only. We cannot able to name new state since it is already available. Next we need to perform a move on terminal symbol A. So if you are considering A derives A dot we will get it. And this is also similar to state I3. So we cannot able to name this new state. It is already available state only. So now I2 state is over. Next if you are checking I3. So I3 A derives A dot. There is no symbol after this dot. So we cannot able to perform go to operation. So next we have to check for I4 state. That is go to of I4 comma close bracket. That is A derives open bracket A close bracket dot and this state if we are considering it is nothing but I5 the new state I5. So now I4 state is also over. This two states already we have completed. Now we have to check I5 state. If you are checking for I5 state that is A derives open bracket A close bracket dot. So after the dot there is no more symbols so this state is also over. So now if you are checking the go to operation is over. So in this way we have to perform the go to operation. So go to operation is nothing but we have to perform a move on the dot operation to the next symbol. And uh, here we need to remember if after the dot if a non-terminal symbol is there in the sense for that non-terminal symbol productions in the i naught state we have to add in that particular state. After the dot, if it is a terminal symbol, no need to add anything. Only after the dot, if there is a non-terminal symbol, we have to add those productions. So this is nothing but the go-to operation. So in this session, we have discussed how to compute closure and go-to operation. In the next session, we will discuss about how to construct LR of zero automation. Thank you for watching this video.